61A, lecture number nine. Announcements. Midterm one is over. You can find the exam and a solution posted here. If you look on Piazza, you'll also see a distribution of scores if you're curious. Though I don't think there's much value in looking at the distribution. Focus on yourself, not how everybody else is doing. You should have received an email from Gradescope with your scored exam. And that shows your exam and how each question was scored. We even give you the rubric so that you can see what got partial credit and why. I do encourage you to read through that for a few reasons. One, if you look over a question that you tried to solve and understand how to solve it, that's good practice for the future. Two, we graded 1,900 exams in just one day, which probably means we made a few mistakes here and there. We try really hard to be consistent in grading, but it's a tough task. And so, getting your feedback can be helpful. If you notice that there's a rubric item that should have applied to your solution but wasn't, let us know by making a regrade request on Gradescope. If you wrote down a solution that correctly answers the question according to the template, but were not given full credit, you should get full credit. So that's another reason to send us a regrade request. Any regrade requests that come in today, we'll try to answer today, because I know that today there is a add drop deadline, and some people want to look at their exam score before making a decision about whether to stay in the course. You have until next Monday to submit regrade requests. Now let me say a few words about this exam. It was a challenging exam. There's no doubt about that. You all have learned a lot, you came in knowing a lot, and you're really bright students. And yet, you didn't all get perfect scores on the exam. That's because it was a very challenging exam. A lot of exams at Berkeley are like this. But these exams are not a measure of your self-worth. They're just a measure of how you did on that exam. And at the end of the class, we add up all your exam scores and your homework and your project scores and give you a grade. And grades matter, but maybe not quite as much as you think they do. Yes, your grade in this course might determine which major you're allowed to declare, but there are lots of great majors on this campus. And the vast majority of students who arrive on this campus end up finding a major that they're excited about. And you've got some time to do that if you're just starting out, so don't worry about it too much. Do your grades matter for getting a job after college? Probably not really at all, assuming you pass the course, which is something I would like all of you to be able to do. If you read my email, you'll see that there's a description about exam recovery points, which kick in if you got a score below 20 out of 40. Now, I know for many of you, you never got below a 90% on any exam in your entire life, but college exams are different, and so people really do score below 20 out of 40 on an exam all the time. That doesn't mean they're failures. It just means they didn't get most of the questions right. And on a challenging exam, that happens regularly, even with really bright, capable students. That doesn't mean you should fail this course. Instead, it does mean that you should try to earn those exam recovery points by making sure you come to all the labs and discussions for the rest of the semester. I recommend that all of you come to lab and discussion for the rest of the semester. And in fact, you have to keep going to some in order to earn participation points in the course. But especially if you had a hard time on an exam, going to lab and discussion is a good way to improve. You could even go to two discussions a week if you want. And the last thing I'll note is that this course has been moving at a fast pace. We've covered a lot of material in just a short amount of time. And it's easier to absorb that material if you have some prior programming experience. So a reasonable option if things didn't go your way is to take another course first. CS10 is a great course that we offer here on campus, and they've kindly found a way to let students switch today into that course without being behind because they know you've learned some stuff in the first few weeks of 61A, and they'll help you translate that into a successful path through CS10 Maybe you'll want to take 61A in a future semester. So if you look in the email from Gradescope, there's a section just on that with a link describing the policies so that you know how to switch if you want to switch. 
But be aware that many students have an add drop deadline today, and so if you want to switch, you got to do it soon. If you want more advice or want to talk to an advisor or anything like that, please don't hesitate to reach out and we'll make sure you have a chance to discuss what's going on in the course with somebody so that you can get whatever information you need to be successful. In other news, we're right now in the middle of the completely optional hog strategy contest. Here are instructions for how to participate. And it turns out that 72 teams have already joined the contest. And we're publishing a leaderboard that gets updated regularly. And here it is. At the moment, Alpha Hog Zero is winning the tournament with 71 wins. But that doesn't mean they're going to win in the end. The final result of the contest is just based on the result of playing everybody one last time against everybody else right after the contest deadline. So these intermediate results, maybe they won't matter at all. There's still plenty of time to participate if you want to join in. And one fun part of the contest is that you get to pick a team name. I have not clicked on this YouTube link. I'm a little terrified to know where it leads. If you want some tips on how you might build a good strategy, that's what we'll talk about in Lecture 3 of the Additional Topics series today at 5 p.m. And discussion sections will meet this week to discuss the topic of today's lecture, which is recursion, one of my favorite topics in the course. <laughs>